Radford City and AFC Wimbledon ready for their third game of the League Two season. Huge clearance. Missed by everyone and Naki Wells could be in. Nicks it away from Brown and scores from an acute angle. Despite Fenland on the line and with just three minutes on the clock, the Bantams in front. It's his second goal of the season for Naki Wells. All came from the huge punt upfield that wasn't dealt with. He just managed to react quicker than the goalkeeper and keep his cool to score really well. Completely done. And the cross clipped in towards Balkistin up from the back and a scorer in midweek, but well wide of the target here. Gloria for him to take the throw. Hits it back again for the York City man. Well, it goes to Carl Reid. Now it has continued his run. They've worked this really well. Oh, and it's there. It's an own goal, I think, of Haynes Brown, who applied the unfortunate and inadvertent final touch to James Meredith's cross. Curtis Haynes Brown, on his debut, scores an own goal, which doubles the Bradford City lead. Just joined from Yeovil, and this is a horrible moment for him. Well, Wimbledon shipped six goals against Burton in midweek and under pressure. Right from the start of this game, it could yet get even worse for them, but no way through this time for Wells. Andrew Davis over the free kick. Sailed in. Oh, and missed by Seb Brown, and it's gone all the way in. It's 3-0. Andrew Davis will claim the credit and claim the goal. Just tried to swing it into the penalty area. I think Seb Brown came forward over a clutch of players and got nowhere near it. Incredible. There's Harris over the free kick for the Dons and headed in by Byron Harrison. And they do have one back. Ten to go to half-time and just maybe a lifeline for AFC Wimbledon. Just made the header his. All it is nodded down and turned in by Mercado. What a response from Bradford. Their three goal cushion restored in the space of just two minutes. And Rory McArdle, signed from Aberdeen in the summer, scores his first goal in Bradford Colours. Again, the Dons didn't deal with the corner. Turned in from point blank range. Look three for Christian Jolly. Brings the save from Duke. Still the danger though. The follow up is blocked. And Bradford escape. So open this game. And throw into the danger area. Flicked on Balkistin. Across the face of got. Quickest to react, but he couldn't quite control it. Duke with another huge clearance. We've seen them profit from one of those already. From Narky Wells with the opening goal. He could be in again. Stands up the cross, Hansen's header, it's five before half-time. James Hansen, his third goal in four games this season. And AFC Wimbledon, who conceded six in midweek at Burton, have shipped another five in the first half here this afternoon. James Hansen, who got winning goals already this season against Notts County and against Fleetwood, and struck again. 5-1 before the break. Christian Jolly coming forward. As soon as Pastor Kepler challenges, the shot is deflected and takes it wide of Duke's goal. They will get the corner out of it, though. Well, that's a good ball for Zavon Hines to chase. Moss Brown going with him. Zavon Hines draws the save from Brown. Been looking to extend this remarkable lead. Hines did well. Checked in field to create the space for the shot. Brown behind it. Duke again pumps it forward. And again, Bradford win the flick on. This is Hines. And still, a deflection of Balkistin. And that's gone just wide of the target. Zavon Hines is getting closer. But Bradford scoring so freely in the first half, not quite having the same fortune in the second. Not that they necessarily need it now, with the job surely done already. It's deflected into the path of Stacey Long. And that was just a bit too long. 
Harris. Well, it's a limitation job, really, for the Dons in the second half, but it could yet get worse for them. Carol Reid is in, and Brown is in the way. The keeper had to react quickly there, because Reid was clean through on goal. Bradford City not able to add to that imposing first half lead, but they didn't really need to. They win by five goals to one.